in recent months, my fascination with vintage Formula 1 cars has grown immensely. The manufacturers of yesteryear created truly extraordinary vehicles, pushing the boundaries of engineering and speed. Today we delve into one of the most astonishing racing cars ever constructed, the Auto Union Type C. Now the Auto Union Type C is an insane racing machine that emerged as a result of Adolf Hitler's interest in motorsport and Germany's desire for international recognition. Designed by Ferdinand Porsche and his team, the Type C boasted innovative features including a V16 engine to compete under the new pre-war Grand Prix. Today we delve into the history that led to the creation of the Type C, its powerful V16 engine, impressive performance, handling challenges, funding sources, racing achievements and the tragic incidents that unfortunately affected this car's legacy. So let's start with the heart of the beast. In the early 1930s, German car manufacturers including Mercedes-Benz and Auto Union sought to assert Germany's prominence in motorsport. Ferdinand Porsche, leading a design agency that later merged into Auto Union, envisioned a 750kg race car complying with the new F1 regulations. Porsche's team, with financial support from a friend of Adolf Rosenberger, drew up plans for a revolutionary vehicle featuring a mid-rear engine configuration and a V16 power plant producing around 300 horsepower. The decision to employ a V16 engine in the Type-C was driven by Porsche's focus on packaging and low-end torque rather than high RPM capabilities. In fact, this car had its red line kick in at a low engine speed of just 4,500 RPM. The 45 degree V angle combined with the small bore sizes allowed for a compact engine that fit within the cockpit regulated with. The low revving engine required only two valves per cylinder and all 32 valves were controlled by a centrally mounted camshaft, simplifying the design and avoiding the need for complex dual overhead cams. Now Auto Union faced financial challenges in developing the Type C, but its commitment to racing solidified after securing a racing subsidy from Hitler's government. The German Ministry of Transport initially allocated 500,000 Reinhardtsmarks for racing development, which Mercedes claimed. However, after discussions between Auto Union's representatives and Hitler, the funds were shared between the two companies. This financial boost enabled Auto Union to test and refine the Type C, preparing it for the race circuit. Then the Type C made its public debut in 1934, setting records at Anvers. However, initial racing success proved elusive as Scuderia Ferraris, Alfa Romeos and Mercedes's new W25 presented fierce competition. Auto Union's first win came at the Nürburgring in July 1934 when Rudolf Caracciola's Mercedes suffered an engine failure, allowing Auto Union's Hans Struck to triumph. By the end of the season, Auto Union secured three Grand Prix victories, while Mercedes won four races. Over the following two seasons, the Type C underwent modifications and capacity increases, reaching 6 litres in 1936. These modifications included incorporating roller bearings for the main journals and utilising hearth joints to connect the crankshaft sections. Auto Union also decided to add forced induction in the form of a supercharger. Now, because of these changes, in 1936, the Type C reached its peak, generating 520 horsepower and winning 6 out of 12 races. Now, I just want you to think, this car weighs less than 750 kilograms and made 520 horsepower to the rear wheels out of a super torquey, supercharged V16 engine. And this was your contact patch. These wheels were the only thing that sent power to the tarmac. As a result of this crazy power and lack of well proper tires, this car could start spinning the rear wheels at speeds of over 100 miles per hour. To make things worse, 60% of the car's weight was over the rear wheels, which basically means that this thing loved to swing out the ass in the corners. The car also didn't really have any safety gear, so if you lost control, it could be the end. Now the drivers back then were built different and most of the car's success came thanks to the young driver Bernd Rosemeyer who played a crucial role in the team's success securing 5 victories and winning the European Championship. The Type C's racing achievements between 1934 and 1937 were remarkable. It dominated the European Championship with Auto Union winning 3 out of 4 titles during that period. The team's success showcased German engineering prowess and reflected Hitler's desire to demonstrate the country's technological and sporting superiority on the international stage. 
Bernd Rosemeyer's driving skills coupled with the power of the Type C solidified Germany's dominance in Grand Prix. Then in 1937, Mercedes introduced the formidable W125, which outperformed the Type C due to its supercharged straight 8 engine, producing over 600 horsepower. Now Auto Union realized the need for a change and shifted their focus to a new 3-litre V12 engine for the 1938 Type D model. Meanwhile, the Type C continued to participate in hill climbs and speed record attempts. However, tragedy struck on January 28, 1938, during a speed record attempt on the Darmstadt Frankfurt Autobahn. Bernd Rosemeyer, driving the Type C streamliner, lost control at high speed and unfortunately suffered a fatal crash. The loss of Rosemeyer deeply impacted Auto Union, nearly leading to their withdrawal from racing entirely. However, the team eventually signed the renowned driver Tazio Nuvolari to compete in the Type D for the 1938 season. While Auto Union and Mercedes-Benz had a competitive 1939 season, their plans for racing dominance were cut short as World War II erupted, putting an end to motorsporting activities. Conclusion, the Auto Union Type C, with its revolutionary V16 engine and remarkable racing achievements, symbolized German dominance in pre-World Grand Prix racing. Ferdinand Porsche's innovative design and financial support from Hitler's government allowed Auto Union to create a formidable race car. Despite handling challenges, the Type C brought significant success to the team and propelled them to success. I just can't believe people back then went over 200 miles per hour in cars that were basically bathtubs on wheels. The cars had horrible brakes, tiny bicycle wheels, no safety belts, and yet these crazy drivers pushed these things to the limits. That's what I call balls of steel. But let me know down below what you thought of this video. Um, did you like it? Did you dislike it? And more importantly, what do you think of this insane car? I can't imagine people driving these things at those speeds. But yeah, let me know down below what you thought. If you like this video, you'll probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel. See if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?